हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ लीन सिक्स सिग्मा आई एम मोहित शर्मा योर मेंटर एंड कोच ऑन लीन सिक्स सिग्मा इश्यूज एंड प्रॉब्लम्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ डीमैक केस स्टडी द केस स्टडी इज अबाउट रिड्यूसिंग द कॉल साइकिल टाइम ऑफ अ टेक्निकल कॉल सेंटर सो लेट्स बिगेन एक्स वाई जेड इज अ मल्टी नेशनल कंपनी विच हैंडल्स ए बी सी कंपनीज आउटसोर्स बिजनेस देर वॉज अ वेबसाइट विच वॉज यूज बाय द कस्टमर्स ऑफ ए बी सी कंपनी they used to order their parts and their technical support of the website was with xyz multinational company so xyz company used to receive customer calls and their calls used to take average 17 minutes to be resolved management wanted to reduce this time to 10 minutes for that a six sigma team was created which was led by a black belt for this initiative so the first thing that the team did was to understand the voice of the customer as well as the voice of the business it is important to hear both the voices because if we do not hear the customer voice we will not have customers and if we do not hear the business voice our business will not run in profit so we have to hear both the voices the voice of the customer was that too much time was taken to resolve the queries the customer issue was that the query resolution is a time taking process and the critical customer requirement was that they need these queries to be resolved in lesser time so the goal was to reduce the call time from 17 minutes to 10 minutes and when they heard the business voice business was also saying the same thing the end customer queries are taking too much time to be resolved the business issue was that the team is not able to handle all the queries in time and critical business requirement was to reduce the time taken to resolve the queries from that side also the critical to process to reduce the call cycle time from 17 minutes to 10 minutes when both the customer requirement and the business requirement is the same then a project is initiated the next thing that the team did was to create a project charter there are six elements of a project charter business case problem statement goal statement scope of the project milestones and team charter so the business case is that the team wanted to reduce this time from 17 minutes to 10 minutes if they do not reduce this time they will have to hire more people to handle the query and it is not full time employee based process the billing was done on number of calls being handled so they wanted to reduce this time so that they can do more work with the same number of full time employees in problem statement they analyzed data for last 6 months and the average time that team was taking was 17 minutes which was way above the company's defined target the goal statement was to reduce the average call time from 17 minutes to 10 minutes by september 2015 so you should always define in scope and out of scope for the project in scope of the project is that website maintenance team was the scope of this project and the out of scope is the all other processes which the team was handling define phase started on 14th of march 2015 and they had to finish the control phase by the end of 30th september 2015 team charter the sponsor was the vice president of the process champion was the avp of the process mentor is the master black belt process owners were the process managers of the call team and they were also team members for this project and these team members they were some of them were smes of the process and some of them were the technical experts the next thing the team did was to create a high level process map which is called copis they needed to create this process map because there were cross functional teams involved and everybody was not aware of what exactly the process is so they wanted to make everybody understand at high level what is the process that team is trying to improve so that is why copis is created the full form of copis is customer output process input and supplier the customer was abc company and their customers the output was the resolved query and the process was that the customer facing an issue in the web portal they will log a support call and the information is received by the xyz company support team resolution has been provided they will update the information in the portal and if there is an unresolved query there was a tat that query should be resolved in the next 48 hours the input to the process was customer id and the details of the error and the supplier was abc company's customer then the team did the brainstorming session to identify the causes to the particular problem the problem here was high cycle time so it was kept as the head of the fish under process the different causes identified were number of 
times the call is going on hold and exactly the hold time, the issue validation time, research time, query type, and search effectiveness. Under people, they had tenure, knowledge gap, training of associates, and unplanned leaves were some of the causes. Under procedure, we had shift, night or day shift, and all exception procedures were not defined were some of the causes. Under technology, search downtime and the manual search were some of the causes. So they collected data on cycle time, query type, associates, issue validation time, research time, hold time, number of holds, shift and city. So they created the data collection plan. On some of these axes, they were not able to collect data, which was resolved through process door approach later in the project. Let me take you to Minitab where the team has collected data already. So this is the data on cycle time. In column C to T, the query type, associate, hold time, number of holds, city, shift, and like that. So cycle time is a continuous Y. When the Y is continuous, the first thing that the team has to do was to check whether the data is stable or not. Means there are there should not be any special causes present in the data. So the first thing that the team did or was to create a run chart. And the path to create the run chart is stat, quality tools and run chart. Under single column, select call cycle time. And under subgroup size, enter 1 and click OK. This is the output of the run chart that you will get. P-values of clusters, mixtures, trends and oscillations are greater than 0 0.05, which indicate that the data is stable. The next thing that the team has to do was to check whether the data which is continuous in nature is normal or non-normal. To check the normality of the data, the path in Minitab is stat, basic statistics and graphical summary. Under variables column, you need to enter call cycle time and click OK. In this chart, p-value is greater than 0 0.05 which suggests that the data is normally distributed. When the data is normally distributed, the mean and standard deviations are used. If the data is non-normally distributed, median and interquartile range is used. In this case, the mean is 16.775. The goal that the team has taken, it should be to reduce the call cycle time from 16.775 minutes to 10 minutes. So till this point in the project, the goal statement can be modified. After the data analysis, the first phase of the data analysis, then you cannot change the goal statement. The next thing the team has to do was to check which of these axes are significantly impacting the project Y, which is call cycle time. So the first X, which is query type, is a discrete X. And when the data, which is project Y, is normally distributed and we have discrete X, we will use one-way ANOVA test. So the path is stat ANOVA one-way. Under response, we will have to select call cycle time. Under factors, we will have to select query type. And we will have to click OK. P value of 0, 0.000 suggests that data is significant. Means query type is significantly impacting the call cycle time. So if you look at this mean, it tells us that billing issues, the mean time is 20.913 minutes. It means whenever they, the query is raised on billing issues, it is taking the maximum time. So this X is a significant X. People have to work on this X, which is query type. Next X that we are going to test is hold time. So cycle time is continuous and hold time is also continuous. So here the team has to use simple linear regression. And to test simple linear regression, team will use fitted line plot. Stat, regression and fitted line plot is the path. Under response, call time 
and under predictor variable hold time and click OK. So this is the fitted line plot. R square adjusted value of 95.5% suggest hold time significantly impacts call cycle time. This value should be greater than 65% to say that there is a strong correlation between X and Y. It means when hold time is increasing, the call cycle time is also increasing. So team need to work on hold time. They should try and reduce this hold time to reduce the overall cycle time of the call. Likewise, all the other axes were tested and significant axes were identified. I have also spoken about the axis on which we could not collect data. There were these three axes on which the data could not be collected. So number one X was huge change over time. Number two was the knowledge gap. Number three was lack of standardization. So different teams rated these on a scale of one to 10 and the one which had the maximum score, which is 27 in this case, was prioritized as one of the significant exits through process door approach. Then the team did YY analysis to identify the solution to the problem. The first one was the query type. So why some query types take longer time? Why no procedure is defined for them? And why? Because nobody documented them earlier. And the solution was to create the visual document to cover 75% of the training scenarios. The next one was huge change over time. For example, sending updates take time and team should take staggered approach when they were trying to send this particular update. Associates, they were doing manual search. Why? Because there is no automated process available. And the solution to this particular problem was to create a web page search with critical words to fast track the research. So likewise, the team identified the solutions to all these axes, which were identified as significant. Last thing the team did after implementation of all these solutions, team were able to achieve the goal, which was to reduce the cycle time to 10 minutes. And there is a call cycle time data after the project is completed is in column C10. So now the team has to create a control chart. So let us create a control chart, which is IMR chart on call cycle time after data. And the path in Minitab to create this is SAT control charts, variable charts for individuals and IMR chart. Under variables, you will enter call cycle time after and click OK. So now if you look at the average time, which is 10.022, the team has met the goal and the process is also in is in statistical controls. You can see only one point going beyond the control limits in 384 observations. Let us create an IMR chart on before cycle time as well. Stat control charts, variable charts for individuals and IMR chart. Under variable, you need to select call cycle time before the project and click OK. So earlier the call cycle time was 16.78. Now the call cycle time is 10. Earlier the variation which is the moving range mean was 5.42. Now the moving range mean is 1.105. It means there is a reduction in the variation as well. So overall, the team has achieved the goal and with the help of this particular project, customer satisfaction was also enhanced and they were able to save five more FTEs which the team was planning to hire. So friends, I hope you like this video. If you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. I will see you in my next upcoming video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.